What is up, everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about why you should never quote in person again. I'm joined with a special guest. Mike Vidan is with me. Mike, how's it going, man? It is going good, man. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Before we get into this one, though, I do want to mention that me and Mike recently released a course on how to scale your business and get off the truck like Mike has been doing for the past 20 years. So if you guys want to learn more about that, check out the first link in the comment section description. But Mike, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, absolutely. So the course is called The Next Level, and we have been working diligently for the past six months consolidating and compressing my 20 years of experience and knowledge in the pressure cleaning industry uh, just basically to eliminate the learning curve for you guys out there that are looking to scale, that are looking to get off the truck. This is for guys that have a future in the business that does not include breaking their backs out in the field every single day on the truck. And this is for the guys that want to take it, you know, take it to that next level. They want to have employees and, and enjoy what they've built. But I know there are a lot of guys out there that are one man operations, that are two man operations, but they're still out there grinding every single day. And that is not where I wanted to be. That is not where I know so many people want to be. We get into this because we're entrepreneurs. What we're teaching is the systems, the, the sequences, the things you can do behind the scenes. Absolutely. I completely agree. As you mentioned, we've been working on this for the past couple months. And one of my favorite pieces of the way that you do things is how you never go to customers' houses to do quotes. Instead, you just quote them remotely from wherever you are. So why and when did you kind of start doing this process of quoting? So, you know, again, this is one of those topics that drives a lot of people absolutely insane because, you know, we live in a world right now and I call it living in the Amazon world when customers have that Amazon mentality. And with that mentality comes instant gratification. Now, I started this about 15 years ago. I, it was in 2006. Um, and I was just tired of tire kickers. I was tired of wasting so much time going to different properties. And, you know, if, if your average sales ticket is 300, 400, and you're wasting hours every single day to go to all these different properties, that's time that's not being well spent. I wanted to find a better way to do it. And what I figured is when I was going to these houses, I was talking to the customers, I was you know, interacting, I was wasting time in, in a lot of cases with people that were never going to hire us. They called three other people, they were getting other quotes, their buddy was gonna do it, things like that. And so what I decided was when I would go to the, those houses, I could see how dirty they were. I could see how big they were. I knew what the square footage was. I mean, we all have access to all of that information online. And so instead of going and talking to the tire kickers and talking to these customers for a relatively low ticket item, like a $500 house wash, that is, that's not, in my opinion, time well spent. There are so many resources online that I utilize in order to quote, I can do this from anywhere because I've got everything on my phone. And then I send them a text message and I say, hey, this is Mike. And this is the price for washing your house. And, you know, nine times out of 10, people just say, put me on the schedule. And it all goes back to that Amazon mentality. People want instant gratification. People don't want to wait around. If you're out there washing every day and Wednesday is your day to do quotes or, you know, after work when you're all, you know, out, you've been working all day and then you're going to roll up to these people's house, you know, that's, that's time that could be spent growing your business spending time on marketing, spending time with your family, spending time, you know, doing what you want to do. And so by eliminating all of that, you're giving a customer instant feedback. They're getting a quote almost instantaneous. And like I said, this Amazon mentality, that's what they want. They want something, know what they do? They go buy it. They click ship now, buy now. And that's what we're doing with this whole, uh, remote quoting. And some guys will dedicate their entire off day. As you mentioned, they'll go after work, they'll spend hours and hours quoting, driving to all these locations, talking with the customers individually. And the way that you've done it is you have an immediate response to a request. That's that Amazon mentality and you get them a quote. And would you say that you land more jobs this way than what you did before? Or has the ratio shifted at all? Oh, without a doubt. The close ratio is it's incredibly high. Now, I don't have that percentage in front of me. I'd say 80 percent. And the beauty there is I can quote 10, 20, 30 houses a day from my phone while I'm still doing other things, while I'm still running the business, while I'm still pursuing other interests, while I'm still doing it, whatever it is. But the beauty is, is the volume that you can quote by doing it remotely completely offsets any 
loss that you have from somebody not wanting to get a text or an email. They wanted to see someone in person and you know what, that's okay. For me, I know that if I ever called a company, I had to get a tree removed in my backyard and I know uh, I called a couple different companies and the, the one who answered the quickest, got me the quote the quickest, that's basically the one that we went with because yeah. I just want to quote, I want to get it done, let's get it knocked out, you know? Um, so customers are willing to sacrifice the one-on-one -on -one interaction with you for the convenience and time savings, right? Without a doubt. Look at, look at just look at the world that we live in. Everything has shifted from brick and mortar to online, right? Amazon kills it. And that shows you where you need to be, where you need to take your business and how you're going to be able to, to, you know, grow. If you're out there, like I said, busting your hump every single day for 10 hours a day, there's no time for growth. You're going to be stagnant. You're going to be sitting there on the truck when you're 65 years old, angry because you didn't make these choices, because you didn't educate yourself, because you didn't gain the knowledge in order to, you know, make these changes in your business. Right. And I'll be honest, I couldn't really believe that you quoted everything uh, remotely like that. But I mean, just earlier in the week, you texted me a picture of a quote that you did on a commercial job and you were actually at the water park. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? <laughs> yeah, man. So we took my daughter and one of her friends down to uh, a water park. And on the way down there, I got a text message from one of my customers who is a big roofing contractor out of Atlanta. And he has got deals in place with uh, the University of Georgia, the college system. And so he's out doing these huge roofing jobs and he's got great relationships with all of the maintenance people. And so, this guy, uh, we've done work for him before. We've done, I don't know how many dorms we've done, probably 30 or 40 dormitories of uh, Southern Georgia. And he called and said, hey, uh, can you go over to so-and-so and give me a price? There are uh, 10 dorms that need to be done. They don't need the exteriors done, just the breezeways. I get on Google, I'm able to see the scope of the building, the size of the buildings, how many breezeways, how many stories, everything that I need to know. And, you know, I'd actually been at that property one other time uh, because he owed me money and said, hey, I'm in town. I've got a check. You want to swing by? And they were actually doing the roofs on these uh, on these particular buildings. So I'd been there. I'd seen them. And we'd actually talked about them back then. But, you know, in this rare scenario, I was able to quote a huge job without ever having stepping foot on the property prior to that one day when I was picking up my check. Uh, but again, it was having the resources at your fingertips. Uh, to be able to do that. The technology in the palm of your hand that gives you the ability to see everything that you need to see in order to quote quickly and effectively. And we did get that job. There you go. So they didn't have to wait on the quote. You didn't have to leave, you know, your daughter at the water park. You, did, you were you were there, you did the quote and you landed the job. So beautiful, Mike. So I think the consensus is, is moving towards this uh, texting model of quoting. Not only can you convert higher, but you can land jobs wherever you are. So um, with that being said, Mike, I think you offered some great uh, information in the video. If guys want to learn more, they can check out the first link in the comment section and the description. Uh, but Mike, we need a word of the day. So what would you like the word of the day, day to be? Growth. The word of the day is growth. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment down below growth and I'll hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.